Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here, and in today's video, I'm going to showcase another popular feature in Microsurvey CAD, the lot closure routine. So this routine is commonly used among plan checkers to generate drawings from PDFs. Um, it is also used as an additional check among surveyors just to ensure that they've been exhaustive in the creation of their plans. So in today's example, I'm going to focus on the application of the routine that would be useful as a mathematical closure and a visual check on any CAD drawings. Um, this application also forces you to ensure that you have adequate labels on all of your plans, um, ensuring that anything that's been submitted is 100% good to go and has all the required information. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start working through this lot closure example now. Um, I have the um, sample file open here, as you can see, and we're going to do the lot closure routine around lot number 51. So what's kind of cool about this drawing is that there is a little right of way here in one of the bottom corners of the lots. And um, if you zoom in, you can see that um, it says detail A. Um, so all of the lot is properly dimensioned with the bearings and the distances. Um, but of course, on this little section, because the area is so small, it would be hard to get um, those numbers in there. So they pop out a detail. And, um, and you can see here all of the different annotations. And you can see how when I go through the routine, we're able to um, pick the values right off of the detail. So it's kind of a neat feature. Okay, so I'm going to go into um, MS Tools and I'm going to choose the button here called Lot Closure Program. I'm going to call this Lot Closure Lot 51. Okay, so we're going to work our way around this lot. Um, I've chosen my start point as this point right here, this open circle iron pin. Um, and then I'm going to get going by choosing the azimuth and the distance of this next segment. Um, so I'm going to choose pick both. I'm going to drag over those two annotations, hit enter. Um, it shot it out the wrong direction. So in this case, I just want to hit swap. And that purple line will give you a preview to the um, direction um, and the calculation that the, um, that the program is generating. So you just want to do a nice visual check that that purple line is ending on the next point. So, and if not, you just hit swap. So that looks good. Once, um, once you do the visual check, just hit append. Now we're going to do the next section. Same thing, pick both. Okay, so for the curve, um, you're going to need to put in three values. So we have the starting point azimuth here. Um, so I've chosen the azimuth to the radial point. Uh, the radius is 105, and then the arc length is 16.874. So um, you can see here that the purple line has gone to the proper spot. So I'm going to choose append. And then we're back to line. So now we get to the section that the right of way is, or where the right of way is, and there is um, no annotation. So we're going to have to go down here to detail A. Okay, so we're doing this little line here, which is this line. So I'm going to pick both. Enter. It's going the wrong way, so I want to swap. Hit append. Now for the next, we're going to pick both. We're going to work our way around this side of the right of way. It's going the wrong way. Hit swap, append. Then this last little section. Again, going the wrong way. Swap. Append, and then I want to hit finish. Okay, so once you have finished the lot closure routine, um, the program is going to generate this dialog um, that just gives you the error closure report um, values. Um, if that's acceptable to you, you want to choose yes. 
and then this will generate a WordPad document um, that gives you your report. Um, you get the azimuth and the length of um, each different line, the northing and easting. Uh, you get your curve values. You get the total distance covered. You get the um, error values and you get the total area of the lot as well. So that's all there is to it. I hope that you found this video informative. Well, there you have it. Again, I am not a production level CAD user, but you can still see the practicality and the ease of use that the lot closure routine can provide you with this example. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you'd like to try out the lot closure routine for yourself, you can request a microsurvey CAD demo from our website. Thanks again. Take care. Bye.